Air Force. Uh, and I want to thank you, Governor Martinez, for your support of Secretary Flynn's work and someone else on that team, Dennis Quillen, who, who really did uh, critical work. I have had a great team in Washington, D.C. to be able to work with, and uh, Congresswoman Lujan Grisham and Senator Udall were with me every step of the way. Uh, and I can tell you that there wasn't a single time uh, in the last four years when I was in the same room with Commissioner Maggie Hart Sevens that uh, this issue was not the center of our attention. And Mayor Barry, thank you so much for being here and your attention to this issue as well. I live here. Uh, my house is, I don't know, between a mile and two miles over here. Uh, I drink the water from the Water Authority's wells from Burton and the Ridgecrest wells. My kids drink that water. Uh, my neighbors, uh, my old friends from when I was on the city council and on the uh, Water Utility Authority drink that water every day. So I know firsthand the urgency that so many residents in Southeast Heights have felt on this issue for a very long time now. 15 years, in the first 15 years after this bill was discovered, a lot of important things happened. Monitoring wells went in. The soil vapor extractor units went in. But the fact remained that not one drop of water was actually treated. And we all saw too many delays. That all came to a head for many of us when uh, my office hosted a community roundtable last summer. Assistant Secretary Catherine Ferguson was there, uh, Colonel Miller, Tom Miller, who was a uh, previous uh, wing commander here, was there. And it was just, it was so clear at that meeting that what the Air Force faced was a crisis of trust. And I don't say that lightly, because this is a community that loves this base. These neighborhoods have lived with this base for decades. And that meeting, in many ways, was a turning point. Uh, I remember we had a follow-up meeting in Washington with Senator Udall and myself. Uh, Representative Lujan Grisham was there. And Assistant Secretary Ferguson committed at that time, she said, um, we're going to put a well in place by June and we're going to be pumping water. She got it. Colonel Miller got it. They stepped up for the first time in a way that allows us to be here today as a team, state and feds and Air Force and local community leaders, to celebrate this milestone. Uh, to celebrate that already a million gallons of precious water have been treated, and this is just the first well. So finally, I want to say a special thank you to the person who I think has been the face of changing that crisis of trust back into a relationship of trust. Dr. Adria Fedor, um, her expertise, her knowledge, her transparency with our neighbors, uh, her commitment to make this right, in my view, was a turning point from a crisis of trust to a community <coughs> of trust and a teamwork again. So thank you. We all know we have a long way to go from here. But today I can stand up here and know that we will get there, that we will see this made right, and that we will see our precious water. Thank you.